Guys, I'm so excited because it's officially wedding season. I love my bridal clients so much and when I saw the recent picture of Kim Kardashian at the Met Gala, I knew I had to recreate her makeup because it is the perfect bridal look. This makeup is timeless and will look absolutely gorgeous in photographs. Be sure to check out the description box below for details on all the products I use. And if you wanna see how to get this Kim Kardashian inspired wedding makeup, just keep watching. I'm starting off with the eyes for this look. And you guys know me, I love my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer. I use this all the time. Priming your eyes is a key step to make sure your eyeshadow stays looking perfect all night long. I have a picture of Kim Kardashian right here on my phone, so I'm using that as my reference. The first color that I'm using is Texture from MAC. You wanna start first by focusing on your crease area and then blend up and out towards your eyebrows. Next, I'm applying this gold eyeshadow from L'Oreal's Infallible Collection. This is number 997, Eternal Sunshine. The gold on Kim's lids really, really pops. So applying this first and then applying another shadow on top of it is going to give us that effect. I'm using a synthetic haired brush to apply this because this shadow kind of has more of a creamy texture to it. The one that I'm using is Mint Brush 32. To set that L'Oreal shadow, I'm going over it with this eyeshadow color from the Wet n Wild Fergie Milano Collections palette. This color is very similar to the other gold, but it's going to set it to make sure that it doesn't budge or crease. Take your blending brush and blend out everything one more time. We just want to make sure everything looks really soft and blended. I'm using one of my favorite products that I definitely don't use often enough. This is the Diamond Powder from Makeup Forever. It's like really, really fine glitter. I'm using this gold tone and all I'm doing is just putting it on my finger and then applying it straight to my lid. To highlight my brow bone, I'm using this gorgeous shadow from M Cosmetics. It's a loose pigment and it just gives this beautiful highlight with a hint of gold shimmer. For the lower lash line, I'm going back to that Wet n Wild palette and using that slightly darker bronze shadow. And I'm applying it with my pencil brush. This is Mint Brush 24. Next for the waterline, Kim has this really gorgeous kind of gold liner in her waterline. I think this is what makes this look so pretty and really will make any eye color stand out. The one that I'm using is the Waterproof Glide On Eyeshadow Pencil from Makeup Forever number 50. It has that nice bronzy tone that we want. For the eyeliner for this look, I want to keep it as thin as possible so it doesn't take away from all of the beautiful gold shadows. I love using Mint Brush 26 to do this because it's super thin and it just glides liner on so smoothly and it's an angled brush so it gives you that perfect little wing. Of course, we can't have a Kim K look without adding lashes, but before that, I'm curling my lashes and applying mascara. Be sure to apply tons top and bottom, and then throw on your favorite pair of falsies. I've already applied foundation and now I'm going in to highlight my skin. The highlighter that I'm using is Max Prep and Prime in a light boost. Kim always does a beautiful job highlighting her skin and this is one of my favorite products to use for that. I'm first applying it underneath my eyes in a V shape and also along the top of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my chin and the cupid's bow. 
Next, take either your foundation brush or a skunk brush and blend it out. I love how it leaves the skin looking so beautifully highlighted, but in a very natural way. I'm using my favorite eyebrow brush, Mint Brush 36, to brush up all the hairs. Starting with Benefit Skimmy Brow and brushing it through. I love this stuff because it looks really natural. For the shape of my brows, I want them to be a bit rounder than usual because Kim has a more round eyebrow shape. Next, I'm going with the angle side of my brush and a little bit of eyeshadow and really focusing on the ends of my brows to create that round shape that Kim has. I'm adding blush on my cheek. This is one of my favorite peach blushes, as you can tell, because it's pretty much gone. The one that I'm using is Melba from MAC. And as a final step for the skin, I'm adding another highlighter to get that beautifully highlighted, dewy skin that looks so amazing in pictures. I'm using another one of my faves, Wet n Wild's Reflect Shimmer Palette. I started first by sweeping my foundation brush all over my lips to have a blank canvas to start with. The first color that I'm using is this lip liner from MAC, it's called Summer Fruit, and I'm using this to line my entire lip. I'm using one of the lipsticks from MAC's Pro Lip Palette, this one is called Peach Stock, and I'm using my lip brush, Mint Brush 32, to apply it. I'm topping that off with Rimmel's number 801 Goddess Gloss. There you go guys, that is the final look for this Kim K inspired wedding makeup. If you do try this out, please make sure you tag me so I get to see it at Iman Makeup on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button so I know to do more of these type of looks. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button too. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again very soon. Love you, bye.